into a very cold Manchester airport and we are off for a Florida travel day. Very exciting, this is a bit of a last minute trip for us. Uh, we are slightly late as well, the traffic this morning, very, very hectic with this little bit of snow that they've had at Manchester. Rumours are the runway is closed a little bit, so we're gonna find out when we get in there. But we are off to Florida, very exciting times. I'm gonna explain everything when we get inside, the flights, the prices, where we're staying, what we're doing, how long we're going for, but for now, we really had best get inside. Yes, I am freezing. Let's, uh, let's head on in and uh, take you along with us, Florida travel day. Well, if you are new to the channel, I am Andrew and this is Laura. We do normally live in Tenerife, uh, originally from Liverpool, but our favorite holiday destination is, of course, Florida. You might have seen some of our Florida vlogs before, some of our other travel day videos. It's looking pretty snowy out there. I can see the snow plows trying, yeah. trying to sort the runway out. So probably facing a little bit of a delay, but I'm not worried about it. We're off to Florida, so I'm not too worried. <clears throat> Really excited. We do need this break, don't we? Yeah. So I'm meant to be flying with Virgin today uh, at 10 past 10. I don't quite see that happening, but we are on the Virgin flight. I'm going to talk more about that uh, in a moment. You will have seen we went straight through security there. So no suitcases. We are flying uh, economy light. So only hand luggage. I find it super easy. We've done this before. No baggage is very pleasurable. For us, yeah. For traveling, yeah. So we're gonna have a little mooch through, mooch through duty free. We'll see what it says on the board. It's not displaying any delays on the boards yet, but it's definitely, there's no planes moving out there. So there's something going on, we'll find out. Unfortunately, Manchester Airport Terminal 2 doesn't have a Starbucks. It it's Costa. Costa. And it's, I'm not going to Costa. It's like warm milk Costa. <laughs> uh, what's the other place they have in here? Pretta Manga. <laughs> Try, 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 try manga as well. Manga. <laughs> Bit of Pressa Manga. If anyone's seen that travel day video, let me know. Uh, when I did call, it's, apparently it's Pressa Mange or something Pressa, like that. Pressa Mange, yeah. Pressa Manga. But uh, we'll have a mooch through and uh, catch the other side and I will explain a little bit more uh, about what we're up to and the costs, etc. So looking at the board here, and it doesn't actually show any delays just yet. It does all say sort of final call, boarding, so fingers crossed they're going to sort it out quite quickly. It was a bit of a flurry of snow this morning, but fingers crossed we should be uh, on time-ish, hopefully. So duty free everyone, are you a fan or are you not? Do you enjoy a bit of duty free having a mooch and spraying the perfumes that you like or do you prefer to just get through and crack on? I do like to look through duty free and see what's going on, see if there's anything special in that I like. Yeah, some good deals, a lot of it is uh, sort of overhyped in my opinion. But they have done it nice in here in Terminal 2 to be fair and you can walk through it quite quickly. But yeah, of course, they've got to make you walk through it, spot those bargains, get yourself sucked in. So here we are in Terminal 2. It's not been too long since we were here last time. Hello. Not a huge fan of Terminal 2 in terms of the food and things. You've got a Waggers up there, as, uh, as it's famously called now. Waggers. Waggers. Um, you've got Amber Ale House. A lot of these are like sitting, you know, spend ages having your breakfast and things. A bit of money, yeah. as, as I've mentioned before, I prefer something a bit faster. A little Greg's or something, or uh, as you said, you'd have loved the Nando's, wouldn't I mean, you? Something a bit quicker. I don't know why we've got more Nando's in the airport because did be fun. Everyone loves an Ando, yes, don't they? Yes. But uh, this has opened since we were here last time, which is Boots. We're going to have a little look in there. We normally grab some drinks and things for the flight from Boots. And uh, this has only opened up since we were last here. This was all behind construction walls last time. So Laura's going to pick up a gluten-free sandwich just in case because the gluten-free meals on the planes can be very hit and miss, can't oh, they? The, the miss. Gluten-free, ve vegan, vegetarian, taste-free. Yeah, yeah so. Let's so pick up that for now. So although we do get drinks included on the flight, we do like to pick up some bottles just so we can drink when we want. Stay hydrated. Very important on these flights. I have got myself a little Ribena light there as well. I do like a Ribena. 
for you. Just definitely stay hydrated on these flights if you can, especially when you're planning to do what we're going to do, and that's straight to theme parks and yeah, things. Definitely. So what have you got there? A little meal deal, crisps, sandwich, and a drink. Yeah, just, sorted. Just to keep the going, just in case. Yeah, always yeah. handy if you've got allergies to try and bring something just in case, isn't it? So this is the current situation out the window, not looking the best. Still waiting to see about the flight though, it still says on time, which is uh, strange. I mean, fingers crossed, but it's uh, looking a little bit of a while here to get everything cleared up. Just in the queue now to grab a coffee from Hot, Hot Kettle Black, I think it's called. Never tried this before. If any of you have, let me know your thoughts. Is this good coffee in here? I hope so. What have we got? Mockers, latte. Got no, ah, okay, so we can have a caramel latte actually, okay. Two caramel lattes it will be then. Okay, so here is my caramel latte. I did ask for double caramel, but she said they're very sweet, so it shouldn't be necessary. So I've gone for a straight up one. It does look quite good, fingers crossed. I'm a little bit concerned though, because normally over there, these are normally where the Virgin planes are parked and I'm not seeing anything at all. Just a load of, uh, you know, trucks trying to de-ice the runways and things. So I'm a little bit concerned as to where our plane is, but we're staying positive. And enjoy this nice caramel latte and I'll let you know how it is. It does look good to be fair, very presented very nicely. Staff in here, absolutely lovely as well. I did as well go for the bacon roll and how lovely does that look? Lovely crispy bacon. Looks really good that. Does look uh, happy with that, let's give it a try. Well, I've got to say, the bacon bomb was lovely. It was like a crispy American style, nice brioche bun. I'm going to try the coffee now. Laura's already tried it and says it's sweet. It's lovely, it's really nice. If you watched nice. the channel before, my favourite coffee is a caramel latte, but Costa, no not chance. for me. Let's try this. That's pretty good actually. I did ask for double caramel, she said it's sweet enough. She was right, it is nice. Well, although it's very pretty outside to look at, this does no favours for our flight, Laura. It's uh, it's like a proper snow globe out there. It is absolutely Yeah, it's uh, getting really thick out there now. I know. They've just done it all, and now it's going to be back to square one. Uh, we did hear on the tannery that some flight, we missed the first bit, there's a plane somewhere has landed in London. However, however, Looking at the screen over there, Laura, in some slight hope of news, it does say go to gate 208 for Orlando, for us. Oh, Our go to gates come up. So, won't rush, though. Won't rush, but uh, I mean, fingers crossed, it's a good yeah. sign. Never know, never know. We've been very lucky on our travel days up to this point. So maybe this is going to be an unlucky travel day. Our luck was due to change. We've yeah. been very, very lucky over the last uh, few years. So many of you will be wondering. How long are we going for? What are we doing? So we are only going for seven days. So we're only going for a week. We're just going to be doing the parks. We have got our Universal Annual Pass, of course, and we have, of course, bought Disney Passes as well. So we will get to see if there's a bit of value returning back to Disney. So we're going to be doing all of the parks, loads of different parks each day, probably two or three parks a day, I reckon. Uh, with this flight that we're doing is economy light. We got these very cheap, £450 each return uh, with air miles. Uh, that oh, does mean that you can only take hand luggage, but for us, we don't mind that at all for a week. We've got everything we need there. We have, of course, as well, got an amazing uh, piece of accommodation to show you on Windsor Hills. Again, our favourite place to stay, so I'm looking forward to showing you that uh, gorgeous townhouse we're going to be staying in. But yeah, that's basically the plan. It is, uh, we've done very well getting it on a bit of a cheaper budget. The flights, as I said, very cheap. Um, the condo made up, we got that quite last minute. Uh, we get to showcase that to you as well. Uh, they've given us a little bit of a discount for doing um, a bit of a promotion on YouTube. So that really does help us out. And then car hire, we've got that booked with Alamo. I'll confirm the price of that when we get there. Again, we got quite a good deal on that, gone for the cheapest one we can get. 
So that is basically our little budget bonus week. It's complete bonus. We're just going for it. We're going to film loads of great vlogs for you all and then have some fun and just relax. And let's see what happens. I'm sure we'll be doing plenty of restaurants as well. If you've got any ideas for us or things that you think we should really go and do or try, do please let me know in the comments. Uh, but for now, it's getting whiter and whiter out there. I've got concerns. I mean, we're certainly delayed either way, but I'm really hoping. I heard that one of the flights had landed in London and I was really hoping that wasn't ours. So fingers crossed everyone. In the space of about 15 minutes, we had good and bad news there. The bad news was it did come over the tannoy that it was our flight that landed in London Heathrow. Uh, however, uh, about 10 minutes later, they then said, your plane is now here. It's gonna be cleaned and then we'll be off. So we have been called to the gate. I think they're just gonna have, have us all waiting there for a little while. But that's great news. I was dreading, I thought it was gonna be probably evening time by the time we got to take off, but it seems quite positive so far. Fingers crossed, but yeah, I got here quite quick from Heathrow. I thought it was going to be new flight time, new flight plan and everything going on. So uh, fair dues, they've uh, got it here to Manchester pretty quick. And uh, not too much of a delay so far, fingers crossed. Is that going to jingle all the way, Laura, that bag? Or... Now I'm tucking in. Come on, come on, it's like jingle, 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 all the way. <laughs> jingle all the way. Favourite Christmas film, that. Fuel up the planes, still watching them do all the sweeping and everything, loads of announcements. Oh, I'm excited now, we're getting closer. I mean, we're going to be late, but I don't think we're going to be too late. Maybe. Not too late, we're meant to fly at 10 past 10. Even if we took off at one o'clock, we should still hopefully maybe make it to a park today for travel day. Oh, now, I think I want to try Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom travel day on on one of the travel days we've done Hollywood Studios. We've done Universal. We've done Universal, yeah. So I'd like to try Magic Kingdom, see what that's like. Okay, maybe we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, I mean, fingers crossed. A little bit delayed. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I mean, I'd even take a dirty plane to get yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully, a shorter be a shorter flight time because it does say nine hours fifty five on the ticket. It's never normally it's that never long. Never normally that long. No. no. Normally well, last one was eight. Yeah. Last one was eight or so. So hopefully. fingers crossed. It's not our flight yet. No, not yet. It is, it is, fingers crossed. Well, it's now all nice and sunny out there. We've got plenty, plenty of planes moving now. Everything is uh, back on the go. Still just waiting for ours. It looks like they're loading the food and things on now. It's now 11 o'clock. Our new estimated departure time is 11.45, hopefully. I reckon about 12, half 12 we'll get off, yeah. which isn't too bad though. When they said the plane landed in London, I had visions of like 6 p.m., you know what I, I mean? I know, but I'm freezing sitting here now. It is very cold. In this section of the airport where they're refurbing it, there's no heating. But they said go to gates. So you don't want to just, you know, ignore it, do you? I know, because they'll start loads and boarding at any time. Yeah. But yeah, this new sec this old section of the airport here, no heating at all. It's pretty cold, isn't it? But it's warm where we're going. Oh, I hope so. It is. I really do. Just think you might be on might be on Space Mountain later, you never know, do you? Imagine it. You might be on Amazing. Space Mountain. Space Mountain, the Casey's hot dog. Or at uh, Haunted Walking Mansion. Down Main Street. Yeah, you might be a foolish mortal later. Very well be. Well it's quite a nice view out the window to be fair. They're still ploughing all the snow, but you can see it's uh, all melting, all dripping off the windows. Yeah. It's uh, looking a lot better out there. So here we go, we're finally boarding, we are on Diamond Girl. Finally. 
I know it's quite cold. We're, we're, we're all a bit chilly now. It's about 12 o'clock. Two hour delay so far. But uh, not too bad. So we are all boarded, of course, with the cheaper seats. They will sit you wherever they want. So Laura's over there. You all right there, Laura? I am. I've got my aisle seats so happy. Yeah, Laura's got legs and aisle to get up and down to the loo. I've got an aisle as well. But uh, yeah, we're on. We're happy. Might not have even been here. So this is all a big bonus for us. Yeah, we're happy. We're on. Yeah. Only a probably three hour delay in total, which isn't too bad. So I'd like to wish you a very warm well welcome board please by two Orlando. And first the apologies uh, for the delay in departing for that. Uh, I don't think I need to explain what's been going on here at Manchester Airport and the surrounding area. So what I can say is the ground crew, cabin crew and everyone involved with the next job to get us uh, almost ready to depart. And we're hopeful of that in the next uh, few minutes from now. Uh, once we are ready, uh, we will be spraying the aircraft with some US equipment so that might take another further 10 minutes before we push back and start our engines. Uh, when we do get underway, the flight time is 9 hours and 5 minutes, so we've got a nice quick first speed for our flight today, so um, we expect landing into Orlando at uh, just after half past 4 local time. Turn on the oxygen. If you're wearing a face mask, remove this first. Once you put the mask over your nose and mouth, adjust the elastic strap around your head and continue to breathe normally. The bag might not inflate, but oxygen will be flowing. You should always put your own mask on first before helping any others with theirs. You'll find a life jacket under or beside your seat. Please only take it out if we land on water. To remove it, pull the tab plate automatically. If we need to use them, leave all baggage behind and remove any high heeled shoes to prevent damaging the slide. Jump onto the slide and when you reach the ground, move away quickly from the aircraft. On water, all of the slides can also be used as rafts. Well, we are shortly ready to go after the aircraft has been de-iced. So please now have a good little look through your safety information card, which you'll find in your seat pocket. It has important information on the brace position. Good so far, I've got my lightly salted pretzels, I do like these, apple juice and water. Doing alright over there Laura? She can't even hear me. Might as well be flying on my own. How are you getting on? Cold. I said I might as well be flying on my own. Might as well be. We did get lucky with these seats though, it's a bit of a mess here with the uh, heroes we've been eating. But yeah, got lucky with the road to ourselves, didn't we? I couldn't really film the takeoff, which was a shame for all you viewers. But uh, we're on the way, that's the main thing. Yeah, Being like MK in no time. Oh. Might get the monorail just to get the monorail. <laughs> 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 
dinner time now. Laura's got a gluten-free meal. What have we got, Laura? Is it going to be the same? The big reveal. Oh, the same. It's the same as last time. Every single time. I'm going to, I'm going to email them and tell them every single time. You, you get them, Laura. You get them. While I'm in Magic Kingdom, you can be emailing Virgin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is. It is disappointing for... They mix, they just do like a vegan generic thing, don't they? Yeah, and that's really Oh, you've got your egg sandwich. I have. And you could have a gluten-free Casey's hot dog in Magic Kingdom. I did get a gluten-free roll. Yeah, I did get a roll. It's a roll. It doesn't confirm how soft it is, but it's a roll. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments, everyone. Do you think plain food has become very disappointing these days? And yeah. some, sometimes, I, I just think, is it even worth it? No. To be honest, I'd rather they just made the flight five quid cheaper and gave me an option to order like a toasty or something. I'd rather have a ham and cheese toasty or a bacon toasty than, than these. But yours is lovely. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, everyone. Should you just do away with these meals now? They are a bit of a waste of time, aren't they? And uh, they should maybe let you buy or order something a bit nicer, maybe. They should do, definitely. Uh, I think so. But uh, dig in, Laura. Enjoy. Don't eat it all too quick, will you? Don't want you uh, being sick on Space Mountain or something, you know? Okay, so here is my meal. We've got the chicken tikka masala with saffron, quinoa, and pea rice looks all right smells all right I'm gonna see if there's any gluten in this this could actually be naturally gluten free and then we've got some sourdough crackers we've got bread and we've got some butler's secret special reserve cheese all right butler's secret eh and then a milk chocolate mousse okay looks all right well, the curry was absolutely delicious, which is a shame because it was naturally gluten-free. So Laura could have had that as a dinner, uh, but instead she got that vegan meal. It just makes no sense to me at all, but uh, it was nice to be fair. And the bread roll, on the other hand, is like rock hard, uh, so I can't eat that. But I will be having the cheese and crackers and then the uh, little chocolate dessert. Yeah, that is like rock hard. But yeah, why not just give that for a gluten-free meal? Very strange. Well, I'm hoping the dessert gets better because these look pretty grim. And uh, that cheese is really sour. A bit too strong, that, for me. So it's dessert and that's it for me. The rest is uh, no good, which is what I mean. Why not just let me order and pay five quid for a curry and something else than give me all of this stuff I'm not going to eat? Let me know your thoughts, everyone. Flight. We're about halfway through now. Um, I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable. We've got this seat right back here, and uh, I just seem to can't seem to get comfy. Absolutely nothing to watch. Not even a TV show. Not a movie that interests me at all. Don't know if you saw when I flicked through. Anything jump out at you? All really boring stuff. So I haven't watched a single thing. Laura's over there, just you know, full on stretched out napping, and I'm. This is doing me adding as well, they see it. Just like on. So I can't get comfy. But uh, other than that, it's alright. Alright. You alright over there, Laura? Laura's, they've just come round with the lolly ices. I've said no. What flavour is it? Apple. Falafel for you. <laughs> 
Let's go, man. Come on. So, don't forget if you haven't seen my other travel day videos, my top tip is to make sure you set the time zone to America as soon as you can. Finally off the plane and we've got that Florida smell hitting us as well. That Florida warmth coming off the jet bridge. You can feel it already, can't you? Yeah. That Florida humidity and that Florida smell. Oh, it's good to be off that plane. Well, that was very pleasurable through passport control there. Nice and easy in the immigration. And it's time nearly for the first ride of the trip. And here it is, first ride of the trip. Best ride and also the worst ride on the way back. Oh, and that's the best ride now though. That was the best ride now, yeah. Best ride now, we'll get across, Thank get the car, and we're gonna go straight to Magic Kingdom, so until 11, it's currently about half past five. Okay. Make good time getting off the plane there. So, so recommend just doing the hand luggage. We've just flown past yeah. basically everyone on our flight. Though, because not that many flights in. There's only our yeah. flight in the so it was But then it, everyone on that flight stood there waiting for the luggage now. It's just started coming off. We were at the back of the plane getting off straight through. Yeah. Ba bump. Really cool. There we go, first ride of the trip. <laughs> Love it. Buddy Dyer. <laughs> The gateway will be departing momentarily for the main terminal. You will be arriving on the third level of the main terminal zone. Baggage claim is on level two. Hello, oh, this one I know everybody here. If you're a resident, welcome home. You're one of our nearly seven million visitors. Welcome to the city. Here, imagination becomes reality in the theme parks and attractions. Aesthetic experiences are found in our art scenes, sporty events, and small businesses. Uh, we're getting to the next bit now, which is of course the big American flag and the famous Orlando International Airport carpet as well. Oh, it's so good to be back. The smell and everything, amazing. Here it is, the famous shot. It feels so, so good to be back. We're going to go off to the left in a moment. Yeah. And here is the famous carpet as well. <laughs> the wacky carpet. So in terms of car hire, we have of course gone with our favourite, which is Alamo. Uh, we booked that through the Virgin Atlantic site as well, so you do get air miles if you're a flying club member. You do get air miles for booking it through them. Uh, we've paid $590 for a car for eight days for our whole trip. Um, and that is like an intermediate, I think it was. But I thought that was a fairly decent price. And uh, that's with the full insurance and everything as well. So I'm gonna get myself in the queue, get myself in there. I can smell this Starbucks, smells amazing. Uh, Starbucks. Starbucks coffee over here just smells even better. Oh, car hire all signed and done for, barely any line at Alamo. Nice and quick one. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And now this is one of my favorite parts right here. Just coming out of these doors, getting the smell, the warmth, the sight of this crossing. Oh, you know you've made it when you get to this point for me. This is it right here. This is it. We've got five seconds to cross the road, Laura. You've got to let me know in the comments. Are you the same as me? Coming out the doors just there, you know you've made it. Or are you on the monorail? Or is it when you get to the hotel? I know I've made it once I get to that point. We're going to be in the car now and straight to Magic Kingdom. Leave the luggage in the booth, not that we've got much. And uh, oh, holiday starts now. Holiday starts now. So our fantastic service with Alamo continues. We did book a compact and we've been given any mid-size SUV, any of these on the right hand side. That grey Jeep looks nice. Uh, let's see what else we've got on this road before I decide. I'm liking the look of that. I'm also liking the look of this Buick. That looks nice. 
Ooh, yeah, that Buick does look good. I like the look of that. We've also got another Jeep further down. You've also got a Volkswagen. I quite like the Volkswagen, Laura. I keep coming. I think I might go for this Volkswagen here. I've always liked the idea of a Tiguan. I think we're going to take the Tiguan. I do love my Volkswagens. Got quite a few of these in the fleet, in the rentals, in Tenerife. This is what I do in Tenerife car hire. I think I'm going to go with the Tiguan, Laura. Yeah, it's, the Buick does look nice, but I know what I'm getting with my Volkswagens. I am just going to go around this now and quickly film any little damages that might already be on it, just to uh, give yourself some cover. I don't think there's anything really on it, to be honest, there never normally is, but you can cover yourself in case there is a dink in there. You can show that it was already on the vehicle when you picked it up, but it's looking A-OK -okay to me. Made up with that. Booked a small cheap one, ends up with a Tiguan. I'm well happy with that. Well happy. So Alamo there, great service again. So just to talk about the flight, it was okay. Uh, the plane was quite tired. A lot of it was all broken. Um, staff were a bit they weren't bad but they weren't the usual happy self I found um, and then the food is just dreadful and the food I'm I hope sure you'll get away like, with it sure so many will agree just knock a fiver off come round at the start of the flight you can order X, X Y Z toasties and things you pay for it order it and you get like I'd much rather pay for a toastie on there like yeah. all you do on Ryanair than get that little meal and the, it's such bad quality now you didn't get a plastic fork, it was all bending as I'm trying yeah. to cut the chicken. I'm just like, why bother? It's why couldn't even cut my bread? It's that bad. It's like, why even bother doing it? Why waste the time of know. going through the effort? But other than that, they, they did make up a little bit of time. The snow wasn't their fault. Um, they worked really hard to get us out on tap as early as they possibly could. Yeah, so. did their best. And then we got here pretty okay. Yeah. So can't really playing too much there was nothing on to watch I didn't oh, watch a single thing neither did I I know what's the fire American dad that was it yeah uh, I did pay for the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi was very good I paid for the 21 pounds for the whole flight and it was spot on the whole flight I did quite a bit of um, business all during that I did emails so and it, and it did work well I, I managed to watch a few you could watch Instagram reels ish it doesn't really do videos, but you could watch a bit of Instagram Reels. Yeah. Um, but no, it was well worth it, the Wi-Fi for me. I, I conduct loads of business while I'm on it. I chat to uh, Lisa at work, do emails. For me, it's well, well worth the 20 quid for the flight. Um, but yeah, just to mention that, it, it stayed logged on, it stayed connected the whole flight, to be fair. Even though it was an older plane, uh, the Wi-Fi was spot on. So we should be at Magic Kingdom. By about half past six, which isn't bad considering we landed at what about quarter past? It was quarter past five we landed in the end, it's ten past like five. Yeah. Wasted a while to get off the plane. We've done very well with time and even with the delay. So it's uh, into Magic Kingdom. We've got to pick up our tickets from the window, and uh, we're gonna go for Casey's hot dog first because we're starving, aren't we? Yeah. Really hungry. Yes, in need of some food. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. And I can't have hot dogs, can I? Not normally, no, but you can in KC's. You get your nice in America, so yeah, I'm looking forward to a nice hot dog here. And then what I'll do, when we get to Magic Kingdom, I will explain more about where we got our Disney tickets from and uh, how much we paid and everything. I will explain that when we get there. Here we are. Going through the Magic Gates. Here Going we go. the Magic Arch. And we are officially in Disney. Here we are, little uh, monorail ride done. It's very busy heading into Magic Kingdom. I think with a lot of other parks closing soon, a lot of people heading in. But I'm excited. I just can't get the main thing I'm feeling at the moment is the smells. I'm just loving the smells, the Florida smells, the 
the dampish smell, the Magic Kingdom smells. Look at this, the lights, castle. So we just need to pick up our tickets, which I will talk about in a minute, and uh, get ourselves a nice Casey's hot dog to start with. Then we'll maybe see about doing a ride. A bit of Toy Story music coming in. Oh, I love it. Love it. Feels so good. We picked up our tickets. We've got these new matte finish ones here and Woody. There you go. And we bought these from Orlando AttractionTickets.com. Dead easy online. They send it straight to your wallet on your account with them. And then uh, download it all to your phone, to the app. And then it just wants to pick up the physical cards. And you that's don't have it. To pick up the physical cards, you can just use it on your phone card, I yeah. I think you still know you still have to go and pick them up to do the tap and fingerprint. But uh, dead easy, guest relations to do that. Uh, exactly. These were about £500 each. Now, the thing to note was, even though we're only here for a week, I looked at the week pass and the two week pass, it was the same price. So you might as well get a two week pass just in case you end up extending or like tonight we can come in on our very first night and it doesn't count as a day. Yeah. Same price for seven day or 14 day, but Orlando attraction tickets really good for the, the Disney passes, I think. You won't find them any cheaper, but I like the way it's like pretty much instant. It gets added to your account, yeah. download them and, and job done, yeah. And here we go, 10 past seven, we're in the park, we're boxed off, we're done, we're in. And um, if we wanted to, we could stay till 11, we could watch fireworks, we can do rides, we can do whatever. Whether we will tonight, I'm not too sure, but we're certainly going to go and have a bite to eat. It's just lovely being in the atmosphere, I can smell the popcorn, I can smell Main Street. And then here we go, here comes the castle, there you go, lit up, absolutely stunning there. Well, what a view to uh, arrive to on travel day. We're gonna go just here to Casey's Corner for a hot dog. But look at that for a view. From Manchester in the snow to here in the evening. Amazing. Join us now in Casey's. We've got our hot dogs. Laura's got two gluten-free ones because you can't have the chips and I've got a big foot long with chips. Yeah. Don't want to know how much. 47, wow. But it's travel day, so we'll go with it for now. Yeah. Gonna dig in. Now we've got to do a ride on Space Mountain, one of our favourite classics here. So we're gonna quickly ride on this. Gotta be done, first ride yeah. on the trip. Space Mountain, gotta be done. Gotta be done. So I'm just looking at Tron now and it is running so we might see the car go past in a second. But look at it is, it's come on massively since last time we were here. Last time it wasn't lit up, it had hardly anything, did it? And it was it's a building site. Oh really? So when you do come in and you see that next to Space Mountain and then the castle, it looks really good. It fits in really well, yeah. So it's really nice. So I am excited to ride that as and when it opens for the next bath. Yeah. Good. Oh well this is what I had in mind when I was sat in Manchester Airport seeing this sign getting ourselves on Space Mountain. This was the target. This was our little target for today to get this ride in. Even if we don't do anything else now, I am made up with this. One of my favourite rides. I just love this. This bit here. Oh yeah, the little music and everything. What a great way to start the trip. First ride, Space Mountain. It was half lit up as well, so it's almost like you, when you're going to see those videos, like the, the daytime rides or yeah, really Space Mountain with the lights on, it was half lit up. So not quite as good as fully dark, but it was good. Made up, we got that done. Made up, that was my little target this morning, we did it. Yeah. Even with the little delay we had. What a proper epic travel day this is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you come straight to a park on travel day or do you end up just crashing out? If any of you make it to parks like we do, make the most of it. 
good on you. If I understand it is, it's hard going. It is hard going. But uh, yeah, love that, love it. So see what's going on outside now. I'm gonna have a little ice cream on the way home or a little wander through some of the shops. I don't think we're gonna do any more rides now. But yeah, we'll have a little wander down Main Street and uh, see what's going on. We have finally arrived in our accommodation. We cannot wait to show you. We have got an, another amazing villa on Windsor Hills to showcase to you all. But I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. We've got a little bit of a glimpse in the background. It is stunning in here as well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to showing you that. Uh, let me know your thoughts on our travel day. Uh, would you manage to make it to a park? Uh, if you do, what park do you go to? If you have enjoyed it, make sure you do subscribe. We're gonna be vlogging every single day that we're here. Loads of Florida vlogs to come up. So. Uh, do make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, uh, let me know your thoughts and we will see you uh, bright and early tomorrow for our Celebration Starbucks and I think probably a Disney Park and the Universal Park as well. So uh, another jam-packed day tomorrow. Thank you all very much for watching. It is definitely bedtime for us and uh, stride on.